fainted in court. You rest upon him, doesn't rest upon anybody. Wow, you see, you begin to tell him who he is. You begin to say, God, you are wonderful. Father, you are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning, you are the end. You are able to do all things. I don't care what is happening outside there. I know you that you are God. Oh, yes. You are the everlasting Father, mm -hmm. the great, great rock of ages. Mm -hmm. But did not just say, the everlasting Father, the, the God of glory. You begin to praise Him. When you begin to praise God like that, you know what happens? <laughs> don't worry about your problem. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about your enemies. Mm -hmm. You are lifting God up mm -hmm. as you begin to praise Him. He begins to rise up on his throne. Mm -hmm. You see, when you are thanking God, God is sitting down. You are, when you are praying and you are interceding, God is sitting down. When you are you say, God, come and do it, come and do it, come and do it, God is sitting down. But when you begin to praise him, you begin to lift him up. He begins to rise up. He begins to rise on his throne. He is the throne that governs the whole universe. The throne of thrones. Mm -hmm. The throne that controls the whole universe. And when God rises, you know what happens? The Bible says his enemies will be scattered. Oh, yes. When God rises, when you begin to praise him, the first people that God sees, he doesn't see you anymore. He begins to see your enemies. He begins to see your enemies. And what happens? They will scatter. Amen. They will scatter. Amen. That is what happens when we praise God. Praise God in the language that is familiar to you. Praise God every day. Praise Him because He's worthy of praise. He's worthy of worship of our glory. He's worthy of our praise and our thanksgiving. Praise Him. Praise Him whether in English, praise Him in your language. Praise it with songs. With songs of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. When we look at 2 Chronicles chapter 20, we'll not be able to read the whole place because of time. We see, you can read it when you get to The old shepherd was the king of Judah. He was suddenly surrounded by enemies, the Ammonites and all these uh, enemies, they began to surround Judah and they came with, you know, other armies that Jehoshaphat could not face. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's quickly go to Second Chronicles chapter 20. We we'll read from uh, it's actually from verse one, but I just read some portions. Let's look at verse eight. Joseph had began to he stood in the congregation verse six, I think verse five. He stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem, the house of the Lord, before the new court, and said, "O oh Lord God of our father." And thou not God in heaven and ruled over all kingdoms of the aging. And in their hand is there not power, might, so that none is able to withstand you. And he went on and went, he went on and prayed. And after that, after that, God sent a word to Jehoshaphat. And uh, I'm trying to see the place. Verse. 18. Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. And the Levites of the children of the Kohathites and the children of the, of the, Kohathai, the Kohathais stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. Now, you know, they continued, they began to sing. Let's look at verse 22. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord sent ambush against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mazer, which were come against Judah. And they were smitten. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up.
up against the inhabitants of Manze, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they have made an end of the inhabitants of Ze, everyone came to destroy one another. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Did you follow the reading? When this Jehoshaphat he stood up, he bowed down, began to praise the Lord to worship God. Then he, he set up the choir. They began to praise the Lord. What happened? God, they didn't shoot an arrow, they didn't fight any battle. God went to the midst of the enemy. He said, begin to fight yourself. Mm. Begin to fight one another. Mm. They begin to fight one another. They finish one another, pata pata. And then Jehoshaphat and his own people, they now rose up. They even went to spoil them, to gather all their things and uh, to carry the spoil. You know what they call the spoil of war? They went to carry the spoil of war. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what happens when you praise God. Do you have a problem that you have been praying about? Stop praying. Begin to praise God. Ah, the devil will tell you, why you are praising God? Why are you praising God? When you have been praying and God has not answered the prayer, now you are praising God. Don't answer him. Continue to praise God. Continue to praise the name of the Lord. Because our God is faithful. Yes, Lord. Our God is faithful. Continue to praise him. You will see God do wonders. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our time is short. We can talk about Paul and Silas. You remember Paul and Silas? Yes. When they were thrown into jail. What happened? Paul and Silas, they did not bother themselves to pray and say, God, come and deliver us from this day. Oh, see, oh, God, hey. The Bible said, Paul and Silas, they sang and praised God in the middle of the night. The prisoners had them, and the prison door opened on his own accord. And then, you know, the prisoners said, Oh, we are in trouble. These people have escaped. But as I said, we did not escape. Here we are. And the, 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 the warden of the prison and everybody, they became converted. The people who, who, who arrested them, we now beg them and say, hey, be good, go, go. Because why? They have seen power that is more than their power. Earthquake. Do you know what is called earthquake? Mm -hmm. God said earthquake. Yeah. So that the prison was scattered. The whole prison, there was no prison anymore. Earthquake would have scattered the whole prison. There was no prison to put them anymore. Praise the Lord. That is the power of praise. I recommend it to you in your life. I recommend it upon my life. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I receive the spirit of praise. I receive the spirit of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is a faithful God. When you are praising God, how do you praise God? How do you praise God? You see, sometimes you praise God in your language, you praise God in English, at a point you switch over to speaking in tongues. You begin to speak, to praise God in tongues. You begin to speak in language or no. If you are not baptized with the Holy Spirit, may you be baptized today in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you praise God in tongues, you speak in the language of angels. And the devil is confused and he's scattered. And he doesn't know what to do. So you praise God in your language. You praise God in singing songs that you know and then sing in songs. Sing to God in language that is unknown. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When you want to praise God, when you want to, to thank God, it is very important that you thank God properly. See, when we were dancing and coming here, you know, um, Brother Fidel is here. You know, he will go to a church in Abuja and uh, thank God my husband by the grace of God, he has raised many pastors, but we don't have. God has not called us to start any church yet. <laughs> he is a pastor of pastors, yeah. but we don't have a church. We go to a church in Abuja, and the church, you know, one thing that I like about that church is that they know how to praise God. You see, when we want to do Thanksgiving service, we don't have a lot of time to it. So do a special program, Pastor Wade. Do a special program of thanksgiving. Six hours of giving thanks to God and prayer and dancing 
before God. You see, problems begin to fly in. Amen. 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 You will see, you will look for the problem, you won't find it. Amen. Amen. When you say, you are singing, when, when the spirit of the Lord is upon me, I will dance like David dance. You know, God had to make me to that. I don't dare my sins. You didn't dance like David dance. Amen. You did not dance like David dance. Yes. You see, many of us are too big before God. Mm -hmm. You are too big. You do like this and do like this and do just that like this. You know how David does? David, you know, when you want to do thanksgiving, when you want to do your thanksgiving, maybe next year by the grace of God, do six hours. Then let the people come with their best before God. Let them come in good apparel. Let them tie, let the women tie good gaily. You know, let them appear properly before God. Bring your best, put your food down on your daughter's wedding day. Bring it and come and give thanks to God. Amen. And then be ready to dance. Dance. You know, a baby, rap, baba, rap, baba, 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 go. You know, you dance before God. You praise His name. You will be happy. You will be any church that do that, God will be happy. Then you know I want to recommend again. When you want to thank God, please tell the people beforehand. Be preparing from September, October to November. Don't just announce that the next week that we are going to have Thanksgiving service. You begin to save money, good money. Mm -hmm. Oh, to thank God, can you thank Him enough for flying no, no, no. from you mm -hmm. still to Maryland? Mm -hmm. Can you thank him enough for how many flights you have taken in Nigeria local flight? Do you know how many places have crashed this year? Do you know places that have disappeared this year? Do you know how many people Boko Haram have slain? Those who even in America, a mother has killed some people. Do you want to thank him enough? What do you want to give? Tell me. Your bank account, if you eat this, is it enough to thank you? No, no. You know, somebody said, when a plane crash, they will call the relative for that person who died and say they want to give them how many thousands of dollars for compensation. If you want to give thanks for one flight alone, then you want to equal it to the money that they will give as compensation. So tell me, what do you want to give that is enough? To thank God. When you want to give thanks, give the people about two months. Let them begin to save money to bring thanksgiving offering that is acceptable before God. This morning I thought we'll finish the message before we do offering. I believe nobody gave offering of five dollars to thank God. I believe nobody gave ten dollars because as I see all of you here, you are far, far more than that. <laughs> That's right. So if maybe if you have not finished the Thanksgiving, maybe next week you can stand at the end of our Thanksgiving. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Oh, it's an important thing. Yes. Oh, yes. Do special Thanksgiving offering. Thank God for my sister. She gave a testimony and she said she's coming to do, she's bringing her friends. Let your friends bring money. Let them, let them not come empty handed. Let them dress properly. Come and thank God. Let them bring money, all free unto God at the altar of God to say, Lord, thank you. When God does something special for you, do a special thanksgiving of you. It doesn't have to be open, it can be secret. Mm -hmm. Even that one is more acceptable yeah. to God. Mm -hmm. You thank God. How to thank God? I'm telling you how to thank God. You can thank God by giving to the poor. When you are happy and God has done something for you, look for a poor person and give something to that person. You thank God by giving to men and women of God. God has done something for you. Give to a man or woman of God. He say, thank you, Lord, for what you are doing for me. Thanks be of me. Sacrifice of thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Offering that you give, let it become a sacrifice. David said, I will not give.
give God anything that will not cost you something. When you give and it does not cost you something, you have not really given. Give until it pinches you. Then God is all receiving a thanksgiving of you for Thanksgiving is very important. You know it, you husbands, you know it's when you do something for your wife and she doesn't say thank you. She just takes you for granted and she just say thank you. But when you do something, when my husband does something very good for me, I go on my knees uh -huh. and I say thank you. And then he's happy and he's thinking of what else can I do for you? Yes. Yes. Then your husband, is there your husband here that hates his wife in it for him? Please raise up your hand. Any husband, you hate your wife meaning that for you. You see women, they all love it. Yes, Lord. <laughs> so we should thank God. Husbands too should thank God for their wife. Should thank their wife for what they do for them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we're going to round up. We're going to round up. We're going to round up. I'm trying to see. Because, <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. So we are, we are going to sing a song, one song, because I cannot talk of thanksgiving and praise without singing to God. Yes. We're going to sing a song and stand up. Let's stand up. Let's stand up. Who is greater than you? There is no one greater than Let the Lord bless her in return. Stretch forth your hand. Let the Lord bless her in return. Say, God bless her in return. Amen. 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 Amen